Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sonic Adventure 2 Commentary. Long time no see, Treasure Hunter. Did you find my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald? Talking to you is a waste of time. Very well. If that's how you want to play, I will take it from you. Oh boy, Rouge Battle. It's definitely different from the last battle with Knuckles on the dark side story. Well, there's actually one other difference in this fight, and it has to do with uh, uh, it has to do with Rouge's special ability, which is this black hole, which sucks you in, you know, typical black hole. But yeah, this battle is just the same one from from the dark side story. So yeah. Quite, quite the filler, if I do say so myself. I mean, it's understandable that when a, when a game has two two stories to it that cross over each other, it's ideal. It's it's I I guess ideal that that both sides have to have the same boss fights or you know when when they intersect. So this one being the case. It's just that they couldn't make it at least a little bit different. Like, say, in Sonic Rush. You know, it's just... You know, I think this... I think the, uh... The battle was the same, but the motives you... But the, uh... The motives... Uh, the, the, the battle strategy that they have are different. And so, since uh, I just kind of fiddled about in this part without really hitting Rouge at all... Uh, there's just a whole lot of nothing. You know? That just happens. And... This is like the... The one thing about this battle is that... If you lose your... If you lose your opponent, then... You don't know where, where they're gonna end up. Get away from my emerald! But with that, we finished the battle. Stealing gems anyway. Those belong to me. What in the world? Keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch me. Is that how you say thanks to someone who just saved your life? Saving my life. Don't think I owe you one. You just wanted to hold my hand, didn't you? That's why you saved me. You're a This isn't a joke, you can't. Think what you want, that girl. I was saving the Master Emerald. <sighs> no matter what you say, it sounds crazy. What? Fine, then just take them. They stink like a kidnap do. If that's what you thought, you should have given me them in the first place. Finally. What? I'm sorry. What if I hurt you? We should get going. That cutscene, am I right? <laughs> I'll be honest, that song just kinda ruins the moment a little bit. I don't know, just rapping with that one with that uh cutscene that is supposed to be at least halfway into that into it is supposed to be sentimental, I guess. I don't know. 
rap guy just doesn't do sentimental. But yeah, uh, we are in Crazy Gadget, the second to last Sonic stage in the game. And, uh, well, I think this one is a lot of people's uh, least favorite least favorite stages, mainly because of... I think mainly because of what comes at the end. You know? Uh, but, yeah. I mean, all you're doing is just is uh, flipping gravity around. And that's that's the entire gimmick of this stage. Oh wait, what am I doing? Oh wait, uh okay. I think I think I know what I'm doing. It's just that I'm trying to find the upgrade in this area. Okay. Yeah. Um I think the upgrade is further on about further on in the level, which, in case you don't know, is the... It's the, uh, fire ring, which allows you to break steel crates. That's about it. Um, so, to get myself off of Sonic and back onto Sonic, let's talk about the Sonic movie, huh? Topical! At least, uh, in this day and age, uh, this kind of thing happens when you slack off. Uh, you know, slack off, um, from your... Recording duties. <laughs> um, so I saw the teaser and the uh, pre-production. Uh, pre-production. Uh, oh, holy jeepus! Oh, okay, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I saw the pre-production poster where they show off a concept of Sonic's design and the teaser poster. And I'm just gonna say that I don't really like it. You know, shocker. Because most most Sonic fans don't like it, um, I'm going to say at least the the pre-production poster design of Sonic looks all right. Though my opinion still stands, it should have been animated. I I don't care if it's I don't care about this live action whatever stuff. The, the movie's probably going to be okay, which is going to, actually, actually, that's going to hurt it more, but, but, uh, the movie itself, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie should have been straight up animated, I don't, this sort of thing just, it just doesn't really work to fit in with, to fit a cartoon character into real life that, that you're going to use CG and it, CGI anyway, then just make everything else CGI and make it 3D animated. I'm sure you can find a story within it, within that kind of thing. Maybe it's just like uh, an everyday occurrence, like, hey, Eggman's gonna blow up the world, Sonic has to stop him, you know, type of spiel. Um, another, another idea they could, could have done is just take the adventure games or some other Sonic story from the games and make it their own. You know, stuff, stuff like that. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh, I, I think I got the Adventure 2 mindset in my head. <laughs> oh, no, not, not Adventure 2. Adventure 1 mindset. Where you have to charge up the, the uh... Where you have to charge up the Lightspeed Dash. Uh, so... Uh... The movie itself, it honestly... I... I think about it now, I feel like that the movie is going to feel like the Smurfs before the totally animated one, and the, uh, and the Alvin and Chipmunks movies, which, by the way, are all made by, uh, Sony. So, and the Sonic movie used to be in the hands of Sony until they gave it to Paramount, which I think they're just carrying the idea over, which is weird weird in, in the sense that I have no idea what I'm talking about and I'm just making up words as a goo. But, but, uh, I, for whatever reason, uh, Paramount to me feels like a, an, feels like a, a mixed bag, if you will, of quality. <clears throat> like, there, you can't really discern exactly what about them makes them good or bad. 
you know, with Disney, you know, they're they're mostly animated, uh, but with some other stuff sprinkled in. Warner Brothers, uh, I think they they I think a lot of their movies have like a comedic edge, you know, to it, you know, because you know Looney Tunes. Sony kind of just misses the ball a lot, and well, Paramount just seems to be that in between. The only notable one that I can say about Paramount is that they're the ones that make the Nickelodeon movies. Or at least they produce the Nickelodeon movies. Because they're under the same roof uh, as Nickelodeon. You know, with Viacom and all that. But, yes, yeah, they're just a mixed bag. There's nothing really standout-ish about them. Makes me wonder. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'd rather have an animated movie of Sonic, okay? It, it's. No ifs, fans or buts about it. Sonic is meant to be an animated property. You know? What about the humans? Yeah. What, yeah, what about the humans? They don't need to be in the movie, but. But you know what? Just looking at Sonic and Leash, they did humans pretty good. So why not just make it that way? I mean, come on. It just makes no sense on why you want to make an anime, a cartoon character, and bring it into reality. This it doesn't make any sense to me. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald, slowly, and then we'll talk about your girlfriend. That is, if you really care for her. Handing over the fake Emerald? I can kill two birds with one stone! Put the Emerald down right there and back off. Turned into a big time villain, Doctor. <laughs> Whoa! You thought you could trick me with that fake emerald, didn't you? So, how did you know it wasn't the real world? <laughs> because you just told me, Fox Boy. For a little space ride, I can't pull clear to the colony. Bad. I'm counting on you, Tails. Amy, take care of yourself. Farewell, Sonic the Hedgehog. Second character battle. Uh, unlike the other, unlike the Knuckles fight, this one's gonna be pretty quick. Kind yeah, of because they just go guns ho. You know, I, I don't, I don't really care anymore. It's, yeah, this fight is hard in and of itself, really. You know, it's, 
I mean, just war of attrition. That's it. Mr. Tiger! <laughs> Feel some strange energy. He's Sonic. Whoa, I wasn't sure if I could pull that one off. Somehow I managed to use the chaos control. The chaos control? Are you okay? I'm worried about Tails and Amy. I hate to ask, but could you help them? This is our last chance. I got it. Before the cannon fires, I'll slam dunk it in there. And with that, ends Sonic Adventure 2, part 13, commentary. I'm sorry, I don't know how to make sports. So yeah. Uh, we get Knuckles just staring off into the abyss. He was pretty confused throughout the, that entire cutscene, but yeah, uh, see you next part, hopefully, maybe, I don't know.